Hello. This video is going to be a little different than my normal ones. I'm starting a new series within my YouTube channel called Random Ramblings. These are meant to be short videos for the purposes of covering very narrow and specific topics. I will be rambling, that tends to title, but at the same time, it's not going to be a deliberate expose like some of my more educational videos. Today's content, for example, is going to be talking about the current market. Now, I will be doing this on the tablet today, but most of the time, these videos will probably be done on the phone. They'll most likely be unedited simply because if I have to take longer to process the video than what the video is actually worth in length, it's not worth it. So, heaven only knows what's going to happen in these videos because I really don't plan on doing much to them other than recording and uploading. So, let's dig right into Bitcoin. Well, everybody's reacting to the extreme market drop with Bitcoin dropping down to 43,000. This is good. This is what I like to see. A nice, slow, consistent drop. A lot of people are wishing for a bull market again. I think that's a bad idea. I personally feel the moving averages right here need to get down to the median. I think we spent too much time in an upswing. As you can see by going back in the chart, this upswing is just too long, too drastic, and too steep. Having such a sharp upswing is not good. There needs to be a correction. And it needs to be a very harsh correction in some extent. I don't want to see the price get down in here. Because I think that it's overcorrected. But I think the momentum lines should pivot around the medium as a healthy market. And right now, the market is not healthy. It's a very clear sign that Bitcoin and the crypto market as a whole is overpriced, in my opinion. We need a healthier market. We need this correction. We need the opportunities that this is going to bring for some of the other markets. For example, let's go pick a coin. Uh, this is FTX. I want to go to Coinbase Pro simply because as a U.S. market, the liquidity and volume aren't that great. So it helps emphasize some of the things I'm talking about. Like here, this is a bit of a too steep of a market incline, but this is a nice healthy fluctuation. Again, drops climbs, even here, this correction. This is a healthy drop and healthy correction. This is relatively what you want to see. You want to see price pivoting around the median. It doesn't necessarily have to go down here, but it does need to pivot once in a while around the median. So I see this as a healthy market and one worth having. Now here you see it's under the median and climbing sharply. And if you go back further into last year, there we go. Now you see the price change, you'll see the range change. You'll see that the coin is under the median long term. This is what a healthy market should look like. It should be constantly oscillating and cycling around its median. 
Now that doesn't mean it can't get higher highs and lower lows. Or it can't sustain growth. Because it can sustain growth. But you need a normal market fluctuation. You need relative market consistency. And this is the kind of way you get that. Through these ups and downs in a cycle. The market should look like a roller coaster. When the price gets too high, it should correct. The higher the price goes, the sharper the correction. That's normal, healthy market. As you can see here, we went from the bottom all the way up to the top. And then we had a huge correction. Normal and proper market corrections. This is what we want. We want clean market corrections, even though overall market momentum for the long term is still climbing in a healthy scale. Let's pick another coin, Bitcoin Cash. Still nice climbing. It hit an all time high for this scan but it came from an all-time low of this scan but again it's healthy got up too high where's my mouse got up too high came down so this is the kind of stuff you want in a market you want healthy oscillation you want it pivoting around the median you want good quality trades. This is what creates opportunities. Even if you go to Ether. Right now, here is what Ether looks like. It's below its median. But last year, it was above its median. So a nice, healthy correction. Okay, let's get this zoomed in right. We saw it went above the median. But if you come back here, you can see how it fluctuates below the median. Again, this is a healthy market. Even though Ether is overpriced in gas fees, you still see it went from the low to the high, and now it's in a corrective state. Even though the momentum is climbing, it's beginning to taper out slightly above the median healthy now let's go back to bitcoin and let's see why this is such a mess even on coinbase this is a mess take a look at this look at how extreme this is versus the duration of the Bitcoin bull run. We have a little bit of a sideways motion here. That's good. But not what I would consider a corrective situation. And that's the problem. Coinbase, even by Coinbase's standards, Bitcoin has not really experienced a stable, healthy correction. This has to happen in order for this market to sustain long-term liquidity. We need this correction. We need the price to stay around the median. And we need the moving averages to at least dip below the median once. It doesn't have to happen quickly. It can slowly work its way down like it did here, or the way it slowly climbed here. It doesn't have to be a rapid, sharp, brutal incline like what you see here. These are not necessarily healthy. Large investors coming into the market create this kind of nonsense. And this kind of nonsense creates these kind of sharp drops. Now, while these corrections are good, there's not as much as there should be to keep this market healthy. That's a problem. 
That's not just a problem for the institutions. That's a problem for you, the small investor. Unless you got $100,000 you can stick in the market and not worry about it, you're going to need to count your pennies, watch your positions, and worry about how much accumulation you're taking. This is a problem. Because this can be a lot of accumulation in a very short period of time in a bad way if you don't plan your recipe properly. That is the whole point of this chart. Plan your recipe properly. Normally I trade on the one minute. So let's see what this looks like on the one minute. Now on the one minute chart, this looks healthy. It looks like it should. Reasonable pivoting around the, the median line. The momentum is a healthy point. This is healthy right now on the one minute chart. But the long term chart is not healthy. And that's the problem. You need your markets to be healthy across a large number of spectrums. Okay, we're we'll oscillating here a little bit and we're still dropping some. Healthy recovery, healthy corrections. So as you can see, the shorter time frame markets are showing healthy corrections. It's just long term time frames that are problemsome. Because the long term time frames, remember, what must what goes up must come down. So if this comes down the same way it went up, it's not going to be healthy. You will still be able to trade on it, as you can see in the shorter time frames. There's plenty of opportunities. But you're not going to get an overall market sustainable growth. Be sure you look at the long term of your market while you're looking at the short term of your market to decide exactly what kind of market you want to be in. I personally am trading on two different exchanges right now. Both of them only have a $300 budget each. And I have my deviations set to 4%. That's it. That's how much I believe this market is going to have a very harsh correction. I've taken additional steps to limit my risk. Yes, that means I'm limiting my profit, but most importantly, it means I'm limiting my accumulation. That is the big factor. I am limiting my accumulation. So let's actually load what I am personally trading right now. Here it is. This is the current chart I am trading. And even with the market as messed up as it is, I only have five positions at risk. $55. That's it. Now if I look at this on the long term, The long term is healthy. It's showing it going up. This is a good sign because you see you have corrections along the way and some of them are very sharp corrections equal to the uptrend. You want these corrections. These corrections are the sign of a healthy market. You also want to pay attention to the amount you're accumulating. These are important for protecting your portfolio. These are important for seeing how the market is actually fluctuating. This information is on the basis of real corrective necessities. This chart, for example, price action here is the same as price action over here just about. 
nice uptrend, healthy but stable correction. This is what you want to see. Don't get lulled into the bull-only attitude that the markets have to go up constantly. That kind of attitude doesn't prepare you for the reality of a real-world market correction. The higher the market climbs without a correction, the harder it falls with the correction. Bitcoin is on its way to a very hard crash or correction. Most pundits will say it's a crash, but it's not. It's a correction. When Bitcoin hits that correction, it's going to hurt. Be aware of it. Adjust your risks and your portfolio necessary to protect against that kind of a sharp correction. If you like this video, subscribe. Give it to somebody who needs help with their trading if we can have somebody you know. Of course, follow the YouTube channel. But most importantly, plan and trade safely. There's money to be made, but there's also fools all too willing to give it away. Don't be in the latter category. Take responsibility for your own trading. The only ones making money when fortune tellers tell you how to get rich is the fortune teller. Don't fall for that. Because the only one that knows your own personal financial situation is you. Take the time to do your research. Mm -hmm. Plan well. Trade smart. Until next time.